you know, the book that I'm working on now is all about the mental approach that you have with life and people not understanding that your biggest enemy is you. My whole book is about you battling yourself. People don't understand is you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you. That there is a way out, that there is a way to do more, to get more, to obtain more. But I personally don't want to lose all that I've been able to get. So I need to make sure that I do everything to keep it. So I can't be content. Mm. So there is an understanding, but I refuse to click on the switch of, ha. Ah. So even if you like, even if you have more money than you'll ever spend for the rest of your life, that's not what it's about. No, it's no. about the inspiring people and the influence and constantly giving back and moving forward in a positive way. And the only way you can do that is to stay active. It's the story, man. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, we're all writing a book. What's your book look like? Mm. What does your fucking book look like? Like your, your life is a book. You got a bunch of chapters in your book, but when they close that book, how good was the book? How good was your book? What was the ending to your book? If the ending to my book can be so amazing because of all that was done, not the money, all that was accomplished, the first to do, the man that did this, he caused the merger between this. Because of his commitment and growth to this, the communities were then given this, made education this, changed the way the schooling was Blah, 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 gave books, gave computers, gave the, all of the things that can be associated with you and your existence become a part of the chapters in your book. So my drive is about my book. I was a New York Times number one bestseller. People would be done. They did it. I'm writing another book. You're what's, writing a book right now? Yeah. What's it happened? What happens if you are two time New York Times number one bestseller? If you get the two, what happens if you get the three? Hey, man, how do books become successful? Who publishes them? I want to start a publishing company, Heartbeat Publishing. Why not? Mm. That's the thing. All I'm doing is sparking the awareness in others to go, why not? Why can't I create? Why can't I start? Why can't I be a business? Why can't I be a CEO? Why can't I be a tech guru? Why can't I fucking create cooking products, lotion, scents? There's so much that some people just don't understand they can do. Let me be a spark to show how much, how many different, you don't have to do just one thing. When it's all said and done, my book is going to be full of all the shit that Kevin Hart did. Because I never was content with doing just one, or two or three. Why not? Kevin, why are you creating fucking health and wellness products? Why not? I'm big on health and wellness. Why can't I? Why can I try to create something that I feel is fucking great and jump into a space that I'm already in? I already give 100% of me in this space. Why not? Why can't I talk about financial wealth? Why can't I go back and educate those that don't know? Why not? You don't got the time. I make time. Well, you certainly can, but it's just so unusual that someone dedicates that much energy and time to, to giving back and getting involved with the kind of projects that you're talking about mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. as be super ambitious with your own career. It makes me happy. Yeah, I could tell. I'm, I'm genuinely happy. Discovery makes me happy. Like when you find different things to be excited about, it makes me happy. And it's weird when it clicks. In school, they used to tell you all the time, information is key. Read these books, there's so much knowledge. You're like, man, fuck that book. Got time to read that book, I wanna go home. Goddamn Sonic the Hedgehog, I, I wanna play, I'm at level three, I ain't got time to read this book. The information and stuff that was forced down your throat, at a certain age, you just, you just, may not be receiving it correctly, but then it clicks. And you may gain information differently. And what you do with that information is up to you. But people 
people have different roads they can go down. The education wasn't my pick of choice. It, it didn't do it for me. But the knowledge and the common sense that I have naturally allowed me to gain information, apply it differently. It allowed me to grow smart in so many different avenues to where I said, oh, my God, I found my niche. I found my talent. And now there's other things that my talent can take me to. I don't have the, all the knowledge and awareness, but I can align myself with people to do that, can teach me. Because now, guess what? Learning is cool. Yeah, that's oh, what happens fuck. when you don't have to do it anymore, right? It's it's all When you're a fuck. kid, they force you mm -hmm. into this school, mm -hmm. you don't want to learn. Mm -hmm. But then when you get out and you realize, like, oh, this actually benefits me. This is making me a better person. This is it's, making me wiser. It's 100% the yeah. reality. And it's weird how it happens. But when you go, oh, my God, learning and knowledge is power. Mm. Fuck, they used to tell me this when I was 10. And you're like, what? Yes. Nonsense. 10, 11 years old, I heard yeah. that shit all the time. Now I finally get it. Damn, I'm about to be 40. <laughs> Took me all this time to get the goddamn code, but I got it. Yeah. It hits you at a different time. Mm -hmm. And when it does, be excited about it, man. Yeah. Be excited. I'm excited about what 50 is. I'm just now getting to 40. Do you read books? I don't read a lot of books. Do you listen to books on tape? I have listened to books. You know who I listen to? What? Tony Robbins. He's great. Tony's a, a I like, I like his approach to giving information. Mm -hmm. um, I like his attitude in general. I like podcasts. I like things that are real and that are presented in front of me. I like information that I can go to the source and, and touch and talk. So if I'm, if I'm reading a book, it's a book that was recommended by such and such and the person who gave it to me. And after reading that book, I learned more about the individual that I thought I already knew and now I gained more. Michelle Obama's book, great book, great fucking book. I met her, I talked to her, I've been in the same rooms, I've seen her success. What is her book going to be about? Mm. Go read her book. Wow. I get it. I get why it's moving all the units that it's moving. I get why women are reading this book and walking away feeling better, feeling like they can't. I get it. Oh, wow. Hmm. Certain friends. Dwayne Wade wrote a book. Focus on being a father, his road to becoming a better father, what he went through with his kid's mother, how he developed a relationship and a bond with his sons like nobody else. Wow. Didn't know that, D. That's dope. I love how you put it on page. There's certain things that you just want to know. Uh, certain books help. I understand why people read books. I get what the information does. You know, the book that I'm working on now is all about the mental approach that you have with life and people not understanding that your biggest enemy is you. My whole book is about you battling yourself. People don't understand is you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you.